That's how it's done, guys. Let's go put this on ice. And yeah, I'm talking about my arm. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Julia's Foreign Junk Food. If you're new to this channel, I'm Julia. Over the last several years, we've traveled a lot. Been to Italy, Japan, Philippines, Vietnam. <laughs> From that, we've been able to taste a lot of incredible foods. And we've been able to bring some of those recipes back home. Pizza, pancakes, misubi, jollibee. Today, we're looking at a different part of the globe, Thailand. Probably best known in America for pad thai, or stir fried noodle dishes, or just having amazing flavors. We went there to discover more. That's when I found and tasted for the first time, Thai tea. This may be iced tea, but this ain't iced tea, nor is it iced tea. Thai tea is special for several reasons. One, the ingredients. Two, the flavor. And three, the process of making it, which happens to look extremely difficult based on the way it was prepared for us at this market in Thailand. Look at him. It's amazing. It's like the world of dance. Dance dads. Coming soon to a TV near you. It was like this. I, I saw it. This is their life. Okay, this is all they do. This can't be easy. I can't even blow a bubble with bubble gum. I'm not gonna be able to do this. This guy has got some crazy skill. And on top of mixing up these ingredients today, we are also going to attempt to go pro. This may get messy, friends. So grab a mop, or a hose in our case, and let's get this going. First, we're gonna boil water. Put the tea in our large tea bag, extra large. It's called a sock. And then we're going to let it steep for a few minutes. This tea is extra special actually because it has food coloring in it. That way it looks most authentic. I bought it on Amazon. A link is in the description. From there, we're gonna mix in some sweet and condensed milk and we're essentially going to aerate it by mixing it together through two pitchers. This is iced tea. Technically right now it's great to drink. Right, you could just put this right over ice now and you'd be done. Should we do but that? But you want it to be frothy. And we want it to be fun. And you want it to be authentic. In order to do that, we had to go somewhere that we didn't care that we made a mess. So what did we do? We went to the common area at our building, the backyard, and we're ready. We're ready to go. Why don't you practice with water? I probably should do that. It's like you just made all that tea. What if you mess up? You're right. We gotta test this out with water. We wanna make sure that we can do the full dance move. We have to do the full spin. So we start testing it out with water. Trial number one, water trial. Why? Because I don't wanna waste all that good delectable tea. And then we're adding in the rotating movement, spinning around and around, and it's just not that easy. I spun as fast as I freaking could. <laughs> My favorite part about this whole thing is do it outside in your backyard with cold water and accidentally splash it all over your significant other. <laughs> that was the best part about this entire experience. Is this just a bad idea? Because at this point, I feel like I should have worn my bathing suit. I was practicing for a while. And then before I knew it, I was like, I think I can do it. I'm confident now. Give me some of that tea and put it in my pitcher. So I'm on it. Small, slow, really the main goal here is, can we get a thumbnail? <laughs> is this picture worthy? Is this long enough? Is somebody in Thailand just shaking their head right now? <laughs> so I get going and I start to spin. And a few times I actually did manage to freaking get hot tea on my arm or on my body in some way. And that didn't feel good. <laughs> Luckily, it had cooled down a little bit. No third degree burns today, but I don't recommend this. This is dangerous. JP jumps in too. So what I realized with the whole Thai tea process is as they're moving, they're able to pour into the cup and turn really fastly. I could do this. We're just starting to make a mess. Like this is disgusting and I didn't even realize it. But tea, especially this type that has the food coloring stuff in it, it can stain anything. Oh no! Monson Tripital Force. Well, there's so much in this. I know. We're making bigger and bigger messes and it's at that point where I'm like, whatever you're doing, JP, you have to stop. It's just not working for you. I hit a wall about five minutes into trying where I realized it's not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. You got me. Did they do it? No. You wasted it. I thought it stayed in. It smells, it smells pretty good. 
But you know what? I don't think a day is enough time for us to master something. The folks in Thailand have been doing this since they came out of the womb. We've been doing this for 30 minutes. I managed to jump in there and do a couple of full turns. Not as fast as the guy, but pretty gosh darn acceptable. For a good five hours dedication, your girl did progress. So I kind of gave up, I walked away. So then they brought me out a second time to do this. And they're like, come on, we got a different recipe, we really think you can do it. And lo and behold, I guess they were trying to prank me because I, I don't know what they did, but I think they wanted all the goop to go all over me or something. Joke's on everybody. Joke's on me, Julia, our home because our entire pavement in our backyard is permanently orange. Good job, JP. Like a pro. The best part about that is there's absolutely no more liquid in the pitchers. <laughs> Your stance looks like you're a Mortal Kombat character. Let's make the drink. That's what we're here for. We're here for Thai iced tea. We're not here for making a mess. So here's how it's done. Thai tea, sweet and condensed milk, shaken, aerated, not stirred, ice in a machine that crushes it. Amazon associate link in the description. And boom, we've got ice. Thai tea poured on top, frothy goodness. Mm. That's Thai tea, baby. That's a Thai tea that won't get spilled too. Why is this so refreshing? Why do I love Thai tea so much? Because it's delicious. Guys, this is an amazing recipe. Do you actually need to do the whole spinny thing? No, but it's kind of fun, as long as you're not doing it in a dangerous way. Thai tea, highly recommend. How to make this the safe and easy way is on our website, healthyjunkfood.com. Go well, check it out. And then you will feel like you spent a little afternoon at a beautiful market in Thailand. Guys, if you like watching Julia's foreign junk food, give it some thought. Comment below, what other foods from around the world do you want me to make next? You know I'm on it. I'm here for this. We like to have fun on the channel and do things that are very complicated that people would never ever want to do just to see if we can test our limits. So I actually want to challenge the audience. I want to see you guys submit a video of your best attempt doing this safely outside with water. Let's see what you got. I just, I just want to see if I trust you. Are you going to do it? Are you? Are you going to do it? Are you going to do it? <laughs> I am like really upset right now. JP, don't you want to like try to make me feel better? Yeah, do you want me to turn the camera off? Are you going to be like nice to me now that I let you do that? Yeah. I thought we were like, I thought you liked me. Here, I'll get it off. You just put it up my nose hole. Oh no. <laughs>